Hi, what I have here is 12 pounds, 12.5 pounds of the short trips USDA choice that I just got today from Costco. I'm gonna remove them out of the vacuum pack and dry it up with some kitchen towels, then add a dry rub to it, stick it in the fridge for the night, and tomorrow morning I'm gonna put it on my smoke fire and Hopefully we'll enjoy moist and tender short trips. That's the plan for tomorrow. I'm going to start implementing this plan. I just got them onto the package and I got them dry. I'm not trying to remove all the fat here. I'm just removing some of the loose skin and inner membrane I can see here I'm gonna also remove the membrane on the back of this I'm trying to start here find a good place to hold it That whole membrane is coming out really easy actually. Nobody would like to chew on this membrane. It's not really the kind of fat that will render. This one is done. I'll do the other side and we'll Continue. I have removed the membrane from both of them and removed the excess fat on the cap and it's time to apply the rub and what I'm gonna have here is I'm gonna have some coarse black pepper, some chili powder, some kosher salt and some granulated garlic. I'll start with the salt and apply the salt liberally it's a thick cut these are fairly thick cuts of meat so i'm gonna apply a good amount of salt here and i'll apply the same thing with the coarse black pepper I'll do it to both sides. I'll apply some chili powder and some garlic and I'll stick them in the fridge. I have finished applying the rub and you can see it's a good thick layer but it's not too thick of the salt, black pepper, the garlic and the chili powders. I applied it to both sides. What I'm going to do right now is just cover this with plastic wrap and put it in the fridge and tomorrow morning all I have to do is preheat my smoker and put this on the smoker it's time to go to bed now I was able to clean the mess before my wife sees the mess so she thinks everybody everything is clean and it is now what you don't know cannot hurt you. Okay, looks good. I'll take this to the fridge now. And tomorrow morning, this beautiful thing, this pretty thing is going to the smoker. So it is morning now. It's barely 8 a.m. I just preheated my smoker to 225. I got my ribs that I applied the dry rub to them last night. And what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna put them on the bottom rack I'm gonna smoke them at 225 because I'm trying to get maximum smoke flavor and I noticed that the smoke fire gets maximum smoke when it is below 250 so that's why I chose the 225 I'm gonna smoke them for about four to five hours or until the internal temperature in the thickest part 
reaches above 150 whichever comes first I think we'll get there in four to five hours but that's just my expectation we'll see what happens once the internal temperature has reached 150 or above or they have been smoking for four or five hours I'm gonna wrap them in butcher paper because I don't want to ruin the, the bark I hopefully would have developed by then and also to allow some smoke flavor to keep coming although once the meat is hot smoke flavor is not going to be absorbed but that's my plan I'll put them on the racks I'm going to apply a thermometer to every one of them that will be a nice chance to monitor the evenness of cooking on the right and left side but uh, I will not be completely fair I have a bigger thicker rack here and a smaller rib plate I should say I'm going to put the thickest one on the right side and the thinnest one on the left side so that I give my left side a, a head start with the thin piece of meat and I'm gonna also put a, a third thermometer in the middle to compare it to what the smoke fire is reading the, I did not buy any additional probes I'm using the one that came with Weber but I already had the two probes from my the Therma Pro I'm gonna be using them, they work really nice with the Weber. So this is the setup I have. I have the thick one on the right side and that will be probe number one. I have the, it's not much smaller, a little bit smaller and that will be probe number three. And probe number two is the one measuring the temperature inside the grill. Right now, I have in the 30s, now 40 internal temperature, and the grill temperature is coming up now that I have closed the door. So those short reps, they have been on the smoker for exactly three hours now. During these three hours, the internal temperature came up to 166. Remember that probe one is the right side, the thickest part, Probe 3 is the left one, the thin, the thin one. However, look at probe number 2, you can see part of it. Although the grill is reading 200, it's reading 257. I noticed that there's a good 40 to 60 degrees difference between what the probe I have, between this probe here, what it's reading, and what the smoke fire is reading. So I took the temperature down from 225 down to 200 and I'm still smoking at about 250 240 plus minus what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna wrap them in butcher paper and put them back there and put the probes back this is the setup I have right now I got the every plate wrapped in butcher paper put the probes back in the meat I kept the target temperature at 200 just because I would I really trying to get is a temperature inside the grill of about 275 so I will adjust the target temperature until I find the sweet spot to be around 275 so right now I have the target temperature at 200 and I'll see what will be that sweet spot those short trips they had been in the grill for about nine hours total now three hours unwrapped and six hours wrapped in butcher paper the probe is going on through going in through them just like butter i'm gonna call them done put them in the cooler and allow them to rest for 30 minutes so what we have here is one of the plates for the short ribs i'm gonna cut through it and see how it is let me turn this the smoke ring looks perfectly well you can see it all around and I don't know if you can see this but juices are running this is really nice see I really need to try this piece here and see how it is wow this is amazing thank you for watching and good luck with your next cooks